What's up guys, Hotter Frontier back at it again with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing my deck list for the NAWCQ that's coming very soon to around the corner. And I just wanna let you guys know that we do have a lot of decks competing for that top spot, of course, this season. But of course, my decision really revolves around the newest set, which is Infinite Forbidden, which the addition of the Fiend Smith engine, of course. And you do have cards like the Multi Chummy card, which is the new Max C. So at the end of the day, what decks are getting that huge boost and what decks, even though they don't get a boost, are they still viable, right? Or do they become worse? So keep that in mind as we go throughout this list. But starting off, we do have Voiceless Voice and regardless, right, this deck is insane and will still be taking some tops. Um, it can just power through hand traps and still do what it has to do. And that's really important in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! where, you know, a lot of people are running like 22 non-engine cards in their deck about like it's kind of insane like something like tenpai can run so many different hand traps and still have their main core and still otk the opponent <laughs> it's kind of crazy and speaking of tenpai we're actually going to put tenpai as one of the potential winners and it's either like the third or fourth best deck in the format i mean come on going second just destroy your opponent going first you can still end on like a link two and uh Herag seal and still kind of go off on your opponent's turn but it's kind of a crazy deck and um i wouldn't even be surprised if this took the top spot now going on to our first fiend smith variant we have fiend smith snake eyes now this one is definitely probably the most uh hated but also one of the most predicted decks to take that top spot right uh it's just insane with fiend smith the fact that it will turbo you out uh your of course beatrice and then from there you have so many options but uh with the engine it's just kind of crazy how you just need the one card in hand to activate the start the engine up and from there you can just go ahead and uh you get the lorry you dump the lorry especially on the lorry uh going to the link one and just kind of go throughout the combos you can end on an appaloosa and so much more of course but the fact that you don't even have to really normal summon or anything like that and still get into your Snake Eyes engine is insane. And um, yeah, it's going to be such a dominant deck that other decks really need to step it up in some way of what cards they're playing. Now going on to further uh, variants here, we have the Ubel Fiendsmith. I'm going to put that there. Uh, we have Cash Tira Fiendsmith. We have the uh, Fire King Snake Eyes. So uh, for right now, for Ubel, I think it might be the second best deck of the format with the addition of the Fiend Smith cards. Ubel is insane. The fact that you can turn your opponent's effect to no, uh, like Nimbiru, you're gonna uh, Nimbiru me? No, 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 no. You're gonna destroy my one of my Ubel cards. That's not what I did. I don't care. You're destroying one of my Ubel cards, especially the Phantom of Ubel. You can destroy one from your uh, deck, hand, or field. It's kind of crazy. It's, it's just wow. Uh, that's some card text. But um, I think it could do very well. And against the Snake Eyes engine, it's tough to say who does better. I mean, I feel like if you Bell versus those two decks going against each other, if you Bell goes first, they have a huge advantage setting up their board against Snake Eyes. But uh, regardless, though, they're really good decks and insane decks. Okay, like tier zero, <laughs> tier zero decks. I'll leave that there. And uh, going on to the next one here, like I said, Cash Tira, uh, Fiend Smith. I would actually put this at, it could take some tops. I think it could take some tops. It's, Castira itself is insane with cards like Burf, you know? Um, and just with the addition of the Fiendsmith engine, like I said, is absolutely crazy. And decks that can play it really increase their power level uh, for the event. But moving on, we do have Fire King Snake Eye. And it's tough to say, I don't know which one is better if we were ranking them. I wanna say, Probably Cast Cheer Fiend Smith would be better. Um, I just know that unfortunately it's not up here. It used to be up here, but now that you know, of course, the Fiend Smith engine is now you know viable by the time the uh, NAWCQ is live. I feel like it could still take some tops, but it wouldn't be one of the top like top decks for the uh, event. And then we do have the Illusionist uh, Chimera deck, and this one's tough. I would actually put this at, could take a top or two, potentially. Or actually, yeah, I would actually put it at to get top two. Um, 
it's pretty cool, cool. I mean, with the new Illusionist, the, the Apprentice, it really upped the power level of Chimera. And it's something that if you, again, you're not paying attention to, you're not like testing against, it can sneak up on you and it could, it could really take a top or two. I, I, I highly believe that. I just don't think it will be taking a majority of tops, you know? Um, moving on, we have the White Woods Centurion. And this could also take a top or two. I think with the addition of White Woods, it just ups the level of Centurion. Pure Centurion to me is not doing it anymore. We were kind of okay with just having, you know, hot red and just going to that, but it's just not enough in this format. You do need more um, power level and you need ways to kind of get to your end board quicker and uh, a lot easier, right? So with this deck, this deck can definitely do that. And the addition of White Woods really, again, like it ups the power level of the deck. Going on to the Dia Bellstar, uh, or I guess Snake Eyes, Dia Bellstar, <laughs> Rescue Ace. I would actually put this, yeah, it could take a top, it could still take a top or two. Uh, I mean, Rescue Ace was insane before, right? And again, it's just, like I said, with Fire King Snake Eyes, it's just lower now because now we have better options, like choices to play. Uh, but it's still an insane deck. You don't want to, <laughs> don't want to sleep on Turbulence. <laughs> Uh, then we, of course, have Chimera Fiendsmith, and I would put this above Illusionist. I think that the Chimera does better with the addition of the Fiendsmith engine compared to not having it, right? Um, that's just my opinion, of course, but you guys let me know what you think, and of course, if I miss any decks, let me know down below. Um, going on to Runic Whitewoods. I do like Runic. I really do. I think it would have to be an experienced pilot though, because you know, when you're playing Runic, you can't like, no, like, and not everyone can just play Runic. You really do do need to know like, okay, uh, what am I doing this? Like, how am I slowly gonna be like grinding them down? And if you're unexperienced with that, like at that point, then you just don't play the deck. It's one of those decks where you really do need to know. It's like playing an FTK strategy. You need to know how to play your FTK strategy because if you don't and you mess up, then that's it. You just lose, <laughs> right? Like there's no follow-up after that um, for in the most part, of course. So yeah, I would leave that there. Uh, going on to like the sarcophagus stuff. Ah, it's, this is not this year. I think, and also guys, don't be offended when I put things at the bottom. It doesn't mean that the deck is like terrible. It's just not good for this like event right like the end the the season off with a bang it's just not the it's not gonna get you there unfortunately um but it's really good it's a really fun deck it's just not this is not it it's just not it <laughs> go play some side events uh ragnaraka pretty much you know like plant link i honestly i want to say your top or two but i'm actually gonna put experience pilot um i do like how they did add the ragnaraka cards but compared to the overall grand scheme of things I don't think that we will see multiple tops. Um, experienced pilot, you, you may be surprised. It may take a top or two, but I feel like just like with Runic, you need someone who really, really knows the deck, the in and outs of it. And against like testing against all the meadows, of course, uh, to do very well with this deck. Uh, we do have Modolce, and I want to believe that I could actually take a top or two with the new support. It's pretty good, and I think the link three to get can add any Moldovshay card. So you gotta love cards like that. Cards that are like custom for that archetype, like with Yuval, of course, the Phantom Yuval. Uh, huge fan, huge fan, by the way. Thank you, Konami. Uh, <laughs> going on, we do have Labyrinth, and I want to say one or two. I might just put Experience Pilot. Labyrinth is not as uh, where I thought it would be with the addition of um, like powerful trap cards from I think it was it Maze of Memory. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, just after that, we just did not get see the uh, level of Labyrinth play, you know, that we want to see. But maybe in like another format, maybe next format, it will be Labyrinth's time to shine. But definitely not this one. And you can still steal a top or two, but I think with the experience pilot, it has to has to stay here. Uh, next up, we do have uh, Melodious, and Melodious is definitely taking some tops. <laughs> they definitely are taking some tops. They're insane. Uh, they can bounce multiple cards back to the hand, and um, yeah, if you don't know what the what they do, you may want to brush up on that <laughs> that knowledge. Uh, next up, we do have Dragon Link, and yeah, that's just not it. 
I'm telling you right now, Dragon Link, there's no Dragon Link anymore. Dragon Link is Tempai, okay? Say it with me. Tempai. There's no, there's no more Dragon Link, unfortunately. That, that's done. Uh, Flu. Again, I would want to say Flu is one or two, but it has to go Experience Pilot because, uh, especially going against something like the Multi Chummy, you, at that point, are just like, this is irrelevant. It's not going to do well. It's just going to feed your opponent, and they're just eventually going to out-resource you and defeat you. So most people are playing the um, multi chummy, then it's kind of it. I think even regardless of that, there are just so many ways to kind of stop it now. Um, I think that the deck needs more support or needs more like generic support uh, to do a lot better uh, coming for going forward. Of course, we do have uh, Dingirisu, which is of course uh, Orcus, not it, unfortunately. Uh, same thing with Sky Striker, not it. Um, can do better though. I mean, it did get the new support. It reminds me sort of like how heroes are, like the Lexi support, but heroes do better than Sky Striker though, to be honest right now. So I would just leave that there though. We're gonna leave that there. We're just gonna move on. Uh, we do have tier limit. Now tier limit can run the Fiendsmith engine, but unfortunately they aren't good right now. Again, a lot of things are at one and it's just consistency reasons. You're not seeing it there. So I actually would just leave it at the bottom. You could put it here. You could argue that it can go experience pilot, but I'm just gonna leave it here. I don't think it's gonna be seeing any tops, but um, I'd be surprised. I mean, hey, it might we might see one. They have been playing, uh, testing it with the Pale Exo cards. So they might take that out and just play the Fiendsmith engine, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Salamar Great, I hate to put them here. I kind of want to put them here only because, you know, they have gone far and um, it is the year of fire. So you kind of want to give them that. But you could argue it could just be here. I'm gonna leave it at Experience Pilot. Who knows, right? Of course, who knows? Who knows could, what could really happen? Uh, now, Sprites, Sprite, Splite. I would put them at one or two, you'd steal. But I would actually combine that with, uh, if I can find it, I don't know if I put Ice Barrier here. Oh, I did, it's right here. Okay, so I would actually put this here together. Um, I don't know if other sprite variants they essentially do bad right now. They're, they're not they're not the best I would put that here, but for um, ice bear themselves with with uh, sprite It's actually pretty pretty saucy. I'm not gonna lie. I, I would put that there I think they could take a, a top or two. It's really interesting to see like the revival of, of sprite and we did see uh, I forgot I don't know if it was Latin America, but someone did win with ice bear sprite. So come on You gotta get to them. You gotta get to them. So we're gonna leave that there Unchained by itself, not not it. Unchained with Fiendsmith, potentially could really take some tops. Uh, again, the Shavara hit was insane, but uh, with the addition of Fiendsmith, you could really fit that package in there and um, it can facilitate you and help you make your rank six uh, and just kind of go around the hand trap line that your opponent set up for you. Pure Centurion is not it, like I said. We've given it a chance, and I feel like, again, now that it has a better option with Whitewoods, you'd rather go that way. Uh, at least I would. Now, with Pearly, I think Pearly could still steal a top or two. For sure. They can take a top. Why not? Um, the deck is still crazy. Uh, but just sort of like, it's very unique in how it operates. And something like that, again, that's why I like something like um, Pearly. Like I'm saying, so I would leave that there. Definitely just leave that there. Like voices, voice can just power through. Pearly is very unique in its way, and I think you can still see it's uh, like top 64 for sure, like one or two. Uh, then we of course do have our robot here. Uh, I'm blanking on the name. That's crazy. Genix. Gen I don't know. It's not important. We're leaving it there. <laughs> don't go play a side bin. Go play a side bin. Manadium. I want to put Manadium at experienced pilot. I really do. But I feel like it's just not it this year. Um, again, it's just like my name has not gotten anything new. And getting, you know, bigger hits with like uh, Barone, you have more Lord Savage Dragon, you know, cards like that. It really hurts the deck. I do believe in the deck, but I think for just this event, it's just not it. It's just not it. Uh, Infernoids. Infernoids, honestly, they could really, they could really do something. I think so. I think Women Experience Pilot, though. Not like you know generically they will get one or two tops definitely an experience pilot we'll see what happens with that uh next up we do have red dragon archfiend with the new support which is kind of cool really i'm gonna put this in experience pilot because i don't see the deck uh enough to give it one or two but i can see it at experience pilot 
Next up, we have the gimmick puppet, um, FTK, so we're just gonna put that here. <laughs> What's funny is, is, like, it doesn't go here, but it's the reverse of Tempai because Tempai is like going second, you're dead. Uh, gimmick puppet is going first, you're dead. <laughs> it, it's kind of insane. Um, going second, they're they, they lose, they lose, but going first, it's broken, it's broken, and the support they're getting, infinite forbidden. It's like everything. That's crazy. That you see the one field spell, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Just go to next game. <laughs> That's it. So yeah, they're definitely they're definitely going there. Pure U Bell. Uh, I feel could be here. So this could be U Bell uh, if you're going more combo route, just playing Phantom U Bells, or you could add in the Loving Defender with the Super Poly, which is really broken by the way. I know people are going against it because Phantom U Bell is so much better with the combo route, but I wouldn't like. Why not just play the one? You know defender like i know the extra deck is so tight but it's just so worth it at the end of the day i would really consider playing that so i would still leave it at taking some tops this is pure of course without the um beat smith engine we have sharks um i don't think it's going to do it today um age of overlord you know coming out with that support was really cool but i think in the overall grand scheme of things for this list it's just not going to make it uh light and darkness dragon this is with uh branded it's really cool because it's a omni negate that can negate for three i believe because it uh you lose a thousand attack and defense i believe to do an omni negate and it's not a once per turn effect so that's kind of broken i would actually put this experience pilot though uh i feel like branded can do well but um again it has to be someone who's very dedicated and like loves the deck and like really has been doing testing with it they haven't been testing anything else uh this is pure and i think pure probably does worse we can do experience pilot but we could probably just do uh um, let me think let me think uh yeah yeah I, i'd put it one or two i possibly possibly put one or two or like experience pilot um without the fiends with engine just by itself it might it might just be experience pilot to be honest we do have heroes now and again we're putting that experience pilot it again like i said heroes are better than sky striker uh and you'd be surprised you'd be surprised they could definitely steal um they could steal a top or two for sure we have thunder dragon i don't think thunder dragon like by you're playing it by itself that's just not good in my opinion i don't i don't think so there are different variants but in again the overall grand scheme of this list it's just not going to make it same thing with Life Sworn, unfortunately. Um, you can't play Fiendsmith with it, but I think that it's very RNG with Life's, uh, Life Sworn. I mean, you guys already know. So we want more like guarantees in terms of like that consistency and stuff like that. So I would just leave uh, Life Sworn here. Next up, we have Memento. And Memento, I personally think you take a top or two. Like, Memento is pretty broken, and the new support is crazy. I believe the trap card. Uh, lets you it's like five four or five appaloosa effects sort of something like that um and i did verse the tech recently and the deck cooked me it was it's it's, it's broken so i can't even imagine post you know <laughs> info it would be crazy ritual beast is broken um it wouldn't go up here in my opinion but definitely it's a deck that's absolutely crazy uh it's the best deck we have so far that you play d shifter you could play um uh dimensional uh fissure you could play uh the trap card that uh you can call like what a fusion synchro xyz your opponent you know no one can you know use it. it it's it's broken you could play also protos in it and i believe you can run colossus i'm not too sure about that one but yeah it's just overall what it does it can just say no to a lot of things you want to do it plays the uh top cut of hand traps in the build again like the shifter so um i wouldn't be surprised if it actually won because it did get to worlds i believe uh, one one country did actually make it to worlds too so imagine that uh next up we have drytron we're leaving that there drytron is just not it even with the new support and i also hate the deck but that's not the reason it's drytron's that's not it not it marine sass too uh marine sass does very well in terms of playing a lot of hand traps but that's just not it like you need way more with this list <laughs> you need so much more and vagor soul same thing new support there's no new support so vagor soul is just not taking us there but guys this is my list my best decks list for the nawcq um i hope you guys enjoyed and of course i missed out on like what probably like 10 or 15 like just rogue decks uh but let me know if you want me to rank your deck down below and i will
But guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Let me know down below, of course. And if you guys like the video, make sure to give it a huge like. Comment down below your thoughts, like I said, and subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Come on. Um, of course, and keep that uh, notification bell uh, ringed if you guys want to be notified when I make videos. But guys, that's it for me. Hope you have a great rest of your day or night, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.